Hey everyone, Kev Muldoon here. This is the HP ZBook Studio G3. What I'm going to do in this video is show you how you can take off the back cover and then upgrade the components. This is very useful also if you need to replace the battery or discharge the battery or even reset the RAM. All the components are back there but the battery is built in and it's not easy to get to the RAM so put simply if you own this laptop you're going to have to open up the back cover at one point. Make sure you have an anti-static wristband on and you're earthed. You will also need a Torx 9 screwdriver. On this one it says T9X50 so it's going to be known as a T9 or a Torx 9 screwdriver. First thing you need to do is power off your computer and make sure you shut it down completely and don't just put it into sleep mode. Once it's powered off, turn it around and you will see screws in a number of different areas here. So when you're looking at it from the back, there are screws here, each of the corners, and there are four screws here for the vent. Bear in mind, you don't need to take them completely off. All you need to do is loosen them. So all the screws have been loosened here. We can now put our finger under it. Lift it off. So here you'll see three more screws. There's one here. There's one here, and there's one here. Again, all we're going to do is loosen them. You don't have to take them completely off. So with these screws now loosened, we can take off the four screws at the corner. Again, using your anti-static Torx 9 screwdriver. So we now have all these screws loosened. All we have to do is lift up casing here, make sure they're all loosened okay, if any screws are still a little too tight just make sure we screw them like that and the back casing will come off. So this is the inside of the HP ZBook Studio G3 and I'll just quickly show you where all these components are. This is your battery and if you're ever having to discharge a battery, make sure you unhook this part first. You need to disconnect the battery connector from the motherboard and then you'll see a series of screws around. So if you're ever replacing the battery, you would have to unscrew these and then put the new battery in. But if you're just discharging it, all you have to do is remove this power connector here. So, we've got the wireless LAN card here, we've got the fans, and you've got the CPU and the graphics card and they're actually built into the motherboard. You can see the RAM here. This laptop will take up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. I've got two 8, gig mo uh, 8 gigabyte modules built in just now. But if you push these connectors to the side here, you can take them off. They just pop out. That's how easy it is. And then you just slot them back in. This here is your SSD card. So this is your storage. Now this is an M2 SSD drive, M2 SATA drive. Now there's the main drive is situated here, but if you look here, there's the same code put here. So this is actually a second space for another M2 drive. So if you have, like me for example, I have 512 gigabytes of SSD here, I can add another SSD into this slot here. You can also see the CMOS battery here. You've got all your ports up here. The motherboard does take up the majority of this casing and I have watched the HP engineer come to my house and he replaced the motherboard because of a problem that I had and most of the components are all built in such as the CPU and the graphics card. Now this area does look like you can put in a 2.5 inch drive I don't believe that is the case. I believe it's only an M2 SATA drive that you can put in, which isn't too bad because those drives do tend to be quicker. So, once you're finished, all you have to do is put the casing back on. And it's very, very simple. Best thing is to do is to start here and kind of slide it down into place. And it goes on very, very easily. And all you have to do is just work in reverse. So, we'll tighten up the corner screws first. Next, we need to screw 
these three back in. So this will screw the housing back into the motherboard area. Finally, all we have to do is put the vent on. And to put the vent back on, it's a similar process as to putting on the main casing. All you have to do is slide it in like this, and then push it down. And then we're going to screw in these four screws again. Again, they're here, 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 and here. All you have to do now, turn it over, open it up, and power it on. And it should load up correctly. And at this point, you may have upgraded your hard drive, you may have upgraded your memory, or you may have simply just fixed a problem with the battery. Hope you found this tutorial useful, guys. If you get any questions, please do leave a comment below. And again, please do check with HP whether doing this kind of thing voids your warranty or whether it doesn't. I spoke to HP and the first engineer I spoke to when I reported a problem, first one told me to open it up, didn't even tell me to use an anti-static wristband um, such as this with the, the clip at the end, the crocodile clip. And the other person didn't even mention that I needed a Tox 9. When I spoke to another representative, they did say, please don't open it up, it could void your warranty. So there's a little bit of misinformation out there, so please do check online. Sometimes they say that it can void your warranty, but I think with a laptop like this, you know, the fact that the battery is built in, the fact that the memory is in there, you know, users have to get in there and they have to do repairs. But if you are going to do repairs, please do use an anti-static wristband and, you know, don't take any chances with this kind of thing. It really isn't worth frying the components if there's a problem. Really hope you found this useful, guys. If you have any questions, ask a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you've enjoyed the video, please do subscribe and until next time, Thanks for watching.